they called me up and apparently the kid who got quote short changed wanted to contest the will because half the stuff they explained they thought wasn't true. Hi, this is Jeff Marsacci, the plain English attorney. And today we're going to talk about seven things you should absolutely positively not put into a last will and testament. Well, why? Why shouldn't you just be able to put whatever you want into a last will and testament? Well, it could cause problems. Now, three things that you need to keep in mind about a last will and testament and what it does. When is it going to be read? When is it active as a legal document? And how could it potentially be attacked if you put the wrong stuff in it? So as we go through these seven things, we're going to keep those factors in mind. So the first thing to not put into a last will and testament, which kind of seems a little counterintuitive, you don't want to put your funeral wishes into a will. Now, sometimes we put just a little bit of an exception if it's going to be burial versus cremation. But you're far better off having those things just kind of written out separately, not in any formal way, and certainly not handwritten out in a way that it could be considered a holographic will. And I'll talk about that in a minute. You just want to be able to say, look, here's what I want, but leave everything kind of up to the discretion of the family or your executor in the will to make those things happen if there's any kind of conflict. Usually it just sort of happens, but the last thing you want to do is put, I want this and I want this specific thing and this specific thing and this specific thing. And if the family doesn't know about it because they're not reading the will until after you're gone and buried and somewhere in your will it says cremation, now they've got to go through the cost and expense of exhuming your body so it can be cremated if they buried you. No, 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 no. Leave those things out, but have stuff separately put in writing. Here's what I want. And be as general as you're okay with and let people, let your family and the executor just follow through in filling in the gaps. Another potential great thing, if you want to have pre-planning with a funeral home where they can go into all of those details and put it separately in place, you're not jamming it into a will, which is your actual legal, legal document about what you want to have happen to your stuff after you've passed on, not what you want to have necessarily happen with your body. If you think it's important for educational videos like this to get out there, then please help us out by subscribing to the channel. All right. So a second thing, where to dispose of cremation ashes. And that's still kind of the same thing about funeral wishes. But often, even if they want to keep it simple and they want to put into their will, well, I want to be cremated, they keep wanting to push in. Oh, here's where I want the ashes spread. It could be illegal to do that. You know, one popular one that I've seen people do, oh, you know, I, we had our honeymoon at Disney World and uh, we've got a lot of great memories. We took the kids there. I want my ashes spread in Disney World. Oh, that's not going to happen. It's illegal to do that. Now, if those are your wishes and surreptitiously some family members end up doing it. Yeah, it's still illegal, but at least you're not putting it into your last will and testament for them to do something illegal. So yeah, disposition of bodies and ashes and stuff like that. Keep that out of the will. Third thing. Now we're talking about getting into areas that a will isn't supposed to be covering because one, it's not an active document. And two, it's not likely to be read until after you're dead. And that is, well, what are some of your health care options? I want this person to be my health care agent. Well, that doesn't belong in a last will and testament. That belongs in a health care power of attorney. And if you've got some specific things that you're putting in, that you would put into a health care power of attorney, 
and you want this person to be in charge, well, they're not going to read the will until after you're dead, and it's not even an active legal document until after you're dead. So if you put, well, I want my best friend to be making all the healthcare decisions, I've got three kids, but I don't think they're necessarily emotionally mature enough to handle it, or they'd fight. I want my friend to do it. You put it in your will, no one's going to see it. The doctors are going to turn to the next of kin, which then could be the three kids, and they can argue and fight over it, and your friend's on the sidelines. And they're not even going to know until after you're gone if it's in a will. So yeah, leave that stuff out. Another thing, which is, all right, even after that, what about organ donation? Oh, I want my body to be donated to such and such medical school, or I had this, or I have, you know, I have this rare disease and I'm probably going to die of it. I want my body to go to this medical research, air, this medical research facility. Well, you, again, the will might be read three, four days a week, couple of weeks after you've passed on and you may already be buried. There are separate documents and separate arrangements that you can make in order to have that stuff happen that's not inside of a last will in testament. So let's break in here. What's a holographic will? Well, you can, in a lot of states, and you got to check your different states, but you can actually hand write out your last will and testament and sign it. It's a legal document. May not be what you want, may have a lot of different errors. And believe me, when I review these holographic wills, there's a lot of stuff in there that shouldn't be in there, which is part of the reason I'm doing this video. Uh, but you, you can legally do that. It's actually going to be far better to work with an attorney who understands a last will and testament and write it out, type it out, have it printed. You sign it. There are two witnesses, a notary. Some states require three witnesses, whatever the state requirements are, but it's done formally and it's drafted in a way that eliminates a lot of this stuff if you're working with an attorney who knows what they're doing. So that's the organ donation wishes. But now let's get into, well, look, a last will and testament is supposed to be about where you want to leave your stuff after you're gone. Okay, great. Here's where I want my IRA to go. I want my IRA to go to this person or 50% to this person, 50% to that person. And I want my life insurance policy uh, to go to this person. But those documents have other beneficiary designations on them. Now you kind of end up with a disjointed estate plan. Your will is saying one thing, but the beneficiary designations are saying another thing. Your will doesn't override those beneficiary designations. It goes where you put in the will. Not, not It doesn't go where you go where you put it in the will. It goes where you put in those beneficiary designations. So the will is meaningless for it. Well, why? All right, we'll talk about this for just a bit. A will covers what goes into probate. Beneficiary designations are a way to avoid probate. And generally, that's a good idea. But if you think I'm going to draft my will and I'm going to change it, well, I want my life insurance to go to my children instead of it going to my ex-wife, who is the beneficiary on the policy, I'll just take care of it in the will. That's not what's going to happen. Another thing, it, explaining why you're doing things in a last will and testament. Well, I'm leaving 60% to my son. I'm leaving 40% to my daughter. And now you're going into, well, it was because this person decided that, you know, my son was visiting me every week. My daughter didn't. I got phone calls and, well, okay, maybe, and, and this kind of tends to be a legitimate one. Sometimes it's, well, my daughter ended up going to private colleges for both an undergrad and a master's, but my son got scholarships and this is our way of making up, making it up to them. Even if that's the case, don't explain that stuff in a will. If you just put, I want my son to get 60% and I want my daughter to get 40% and left it at that, you're not giving them anything to kind of reach a hold of and try to contest the will. So that's why we typically leave that stuff out. 
All right, so seventh on that list, putting conditions on bequests. Oh, I'm le and this is uh, an example uh, that, that was true. And they really wanted to push for this, and I managed to convince them not to. I want to leave a hundred thousand dollars to my son to be used for the education of his daughter. Well, what you did there was what you really wanted was a hundred thousand dollars that's going to end up being quote set up in trust and managed on an ongoing basis with the court to make sure the money's being expended in the correct way so that it has to be done for the education of that granddaughter. Well, they didn't want it tied up in probate any longer than it needed to be, but the way they wrote that, I want the money to go to them, but they can't do this, they can't do this, they have to do this, they should never do that. When you put those conditions in, what you're really doing is you're asking the court to make sure on an ongoing basis that it's happening. That ends up with a much more extended probate than you really, really want or need it to. So those are the seven things that you want to make sure you're not putting into a last will and testament. So I hope you found that information useful. If you do have additional questions on estate planning, then please check out plainenglishattorney.com. We've got lots of courses and other resources up there, as well as this YouTube channel. We've got a lot of videos up uh, that handled specific topics that might be of interest to you. Like I always tell my clients, please stay safe, plan ahead, and enjoy life. And whatever you do, make it a great day.